Warren Montgomery had become a fixture in Regina's food scene with his Louisiana-style cooking. Everybody, his wife Rochelle says, seemed to know and love him. And now they'll all likely want to go to his funeral after a short and painful fight with COVID-19. He was coughing so hard till he would throw up. He, and then once that would happen, like he couldn't breathe, he couldn't catch his breath. Um, it got to the point where he couldn't say a sentence, like he had to struggle with each word. The Montgomerys and their two daughters all contracted the virus, but it was Warren that got hit the hardest. In the span of a week, he went from a positive test to the ICU. I stayed with him and uh, it was only a matter of minutes and uh, he was gone. It was just like he went to sleep. Um, he was peaceful, it was quiet. The 42-year-old's case is not dissimilar to what doctors are seeing in hospitals across the country, younger and far sicker patients. A snapshot of COVID in Canadian hospitals paints a troubling picture. The latest data shows a 22% increase in hospitalizations week over week, while ICU cases increased 21%. Ontario continues to be the hotspot in the country, but BC, Alberta and Saskatchewan are all seeing record numbers of hospitalizations. And in Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia hospitals are prepping for new patients after recording its highest number of daily cases since the pandemic began. How are you doing, Dr. Strang? Thanks, Premier, for asking, but I have to say I'm a little nervous. Nova Scotia's Premier and top doctor couldn't hide their anxiety, nor their anger at residents who have been hosting large parties. But the current fine does not seem to be enough of a deterrent. So we're doubling our fines from $1,000 to $2,000. What they don't want is to become another Ontario, where virtually the entire medical system is geared towards treating COVID-19 patients. Toronto's Mount Sinai Hospital recently opened up a third ICU. And now really the biggest problem is, you know, we've created this capacity, but it's really a human resource issue, right? We just don't have enough people to be able to care for all these patients. Ontario's Premier requested nursing help from Atlantic Canada, but it looks like they may soon be busy. Mike Drolet, Global News, Toronto.